and let's start with the blood vessels first. These blood vessels right here would be arcuate arteries and branching off the arcuate arteries we would have the interlobular arteries also known as cortical radiate arteries. This right here is an afferent arteriole and that afferent arteriole is going to bring blood into the glomerular capsule. Now inside this glomerular capsule is going to be where the glomerulus is, the ball of capillaries. This little blood vessel right here is the efferent arteriole and that's going to lead to peritubular capillaries over here. Well you can also see peritubular capillaries down here as well. Filtration is going to happen inside these glomerular capsules or Bowman's capsules and that filtrate will be directed into the proximal convoluted tubule which we can see in orange here. We can follow the proximal convoluted tubule down to the descending limb of the loop of Henle. Here's the loop of Henle or the nephron loop and then we've got the ascending limb of the loop of Henle over here and that will lead to the distal convoluted tubule. Okay. Now the word convoluted means coiled and if you notice these tubes are coiled here that's where they get their name from. Now going back to this distal convoluted tubule right here this distal convoluted tubule is going to dump the filtrate into the collecting duct right here. Now by the time the filtrate gets to the collecting duct that filtrate is considered urine. That's why this collecting duct is often depicted as a yellow tube. So it will travel down through the collecting ducts so that the urine can be released into a minor calyx. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.